Hi friends, this is Janie Backer from Inspired Stamping, and this is my first live on YouTube because they will let me use my laptop. So it's very strange to be using a laptop instead of my phone as a camera because normally I can show you my hands and um, do all those things that are, oops, I just accidentally called my family. So <laughs> let me put that on silence just in case it decides to get greedy. Tonight I am stamping with my Rich Razzleberry Classic Stampin' Pad. And I thought that I would show you in my process of what I'm going to do to make it ink up better. So I'm using one of our Stampin' Spritzers. This is what they look like. And they come in a two pack. I haven't bought them for a long time because I stocked up a while ago. Yes, a two pack. They come in a little ziplock together. And while we're here, it is product number 126, 185. If you have never ordered or need to add these to your shopping list. Okay, so why do I think it needs to be um, rehydrated? So let me, so you can see it, it's nice and smooth. No issues with quality. It's just when I stamp, It is not as crisp or solid as I'd like. I don't know if the camera is actually going to pick that up. So the best option is to use distilled water because it has the minerals removed from it in the distillation process. So you won't have any mineral buildup on your pad if you use distilled water. So I'm just going to pour this into my stamp and spritzer and I have a towel under here because pouring from a jug into this little tiny um, vial type thing is not my gift. So I'm just going to screw that back on there. They do come with caps, which is nice. So you're not going to accidentally be spritzing and then, um, you can get it primed up so it's a nice smooth spray <clears throat> okay so i'm just going to spritz this onto my pad and pretty close um, if there's you're going to see a little bit of residue pops up on the edges because there is just going to be a little splatter when you spray so don't panic i'm just going to take my dish cloth and wipe the edges so that I'm not getting inky fingers. Now, if you're in a hurry, you can be sloppy like me. <laughs> I'm just going to take my stamp and stamp around. But the best technique is to work the edge of an ink, a stamp lock over the surface of your pad, just like this, to work that water through. Then, really the best option is to close it and let it sit overnight to get that hydration into the ink. Okay, now I spritzed um, <laughs> my paper so it's all speckly. Hopefully... I don't know if you can see the difference between, let me get this um, light behind my camera instead of in front of it. So this was the first image and it's just not as, oh boy, that's not as solid and crisp as, turn that down. Okay, so can you see the image now? This is kind of, uh, soft and this is crisp difference between those i'll have to work on my lighting because i'm really sorry that this is not um so you can see the issue is not that it needed more ink it needed more hydration um there is a lot of ink in that ink pad see that there, there's not a shortage of ink but in my environment in idaho we're high desert and it's very dry so things can dehydrate. I also am running a uh, natural gas fireplace here in my trailer studio. 
So I think that also that I've had this issue um, even back in my house. So just, you know, tap, tap, tap around and Oh, it looks even better now that it's sat a little bit. The sponge in our pads can just get dehydrated. Well, hi, Dawn. Thank you for joining me. Oh, I'm so glad you like my tip. I have not heard other demonstrators suggest this, so maybe I'm a whack job. <laughs> but I think um, there's no reason to keep dousing our ink pads with ink if the issue is hydration and a little bit of distilled water in our spritzers, spritz it on there. Um, depending on how dry it is, uh, you could spritz it even more. I can see that it is soaking up the water and it is um, a little bit drier. So I'm going to spritz this more um, then massage it gently with my stamp and block, clear block. Um, and by tomorrow, it'll be completely saturated in the right places. So this is not a Stampin' Up! endorsed technique. This is a Janie Backer technique. Um, worst case scenario, if you don't like it, you can pat it with some paper towels and then add ink. So you're not going to hurt it. It's not going to ruin it. These are water-based ink pads, water-based ink refills. So some distilled water is not going to hurt anything. So, all right. Um, if you like this, will you please give me a thumbs up? Would you please subscribe to my channel? I am starting out with YouTube and I hope that you like the tips that I shared today and that you will follow me. And if you are looking for inspiration, visit my blog website, inspiredstamping.com. Happy New Year, everybody. Bye-bye.